Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we, uh, we've got the usual crew here again tonight. Uh, myself, Christian, and Anna. What's up? Hello. So, Anna Hi. says she wants to make it a really short show tonight because uh, we still have not packed for TFCon, so we were... Uh, me burning the midnight oil here, like trying to actually We're get everything We're about to go on a trip, a giant trip, like yeah. millions of miles. It's on Mars. Probably not millions. At least 100? Probably more than 100. 100,000. That's still too many. I think it's great that we're going to arrive at approximately the same time, but you have to leave like way before I do. <laughs> yeah, like 12 yeah. hours earlier, maybe 15 leaving. hours earlier. I think you were leaving like 29 early hours earlier than I am. Great. Because it'll be Thursday morning, right? Yep, that's what I'm we're doing. Friday at noon. Aren't you cool? East Coast, Beast Coast. If only we had TF Con in Kansas City. <laughs> well, we, we do have uh, TF Expo in Kansas City, so. We do, we do. And Christian didn't attend. I mean, Next year. Next like story. <laughs> it, I couldn't. That was me to me. I'm so that sorry. Was me. I am finally getting my Expo exclusives this weekend, though. That's exciting. Yeah. You are. You are. And some random Energon figures for me. It'll be great. You'll be like, ooh, trash. This is great. Energon figures, them. like all of Lucas' third party figures. It's going to be a good time. I've basically pre ordered my entire TFCon haul. <laughs> Mostly like, from Lucas. Mostly from Lucas. Like 5% of it's from me. Mm. So, first thing. Oh, jeez. I didn't want to see <laughs> that again. Yes! <sighs> it used to be Aragon. Oh, we fell apart. Too bad. <laughs> it's better now. Jeez. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, I've got the... Uh, on my camera or whatever here, I actually have, like, the the figure here instead of in whatever weirdo mode you have it in. The best mode? I fixed it. You oh, fixed should I go it? to adapted vehicle mode? I should probably do that while you guys are talking about it. There you go. Fix it again. Yeah. Oh. You're going me nightmares, Anna. Good. That's what it's for. I don't, I don't know about that. So tonight, three pack, the Amazon three pack we've been waiting for of the battle between Mirage and Evil Impactor. So I'm a little concerned, Anna, when you say that you want to make it a quick show and we're reviewing three figures. I know. That's why it's going to be like, okay, so here's this one. It's a crab monster. Great toss. Here's this one. It's clear and stupid toss. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Impactor now. Well, I mean, I will say, I was going to say, uh, on our, our repaint theme that we have, the you know going on microcasters for the last god knows how long like here's a repaint yeah except for he has a a really awesome head which all the, like i lit. think this is my favorite thing about uh these guys is um you know just the new heads that they got what what is that anna it's it's their god oh i fell apart again say where's my other guys I'm going to say the other Power Dasher here, guys here. Where did I get my yeah, other guy? And out? full disclosure, Anna and I were supposed to figure out, uh, she was supposed to figure out robot mode, and I was supposed to figure out vehicle mode for big Power Dasher, and I don't think either of us had time to do it yet. I haven't got to it yet. No, I need to, though. It'll happen soon. Maybe I'll bring him on the road trip. We're traveling like 4,000 hours, so I should have time to mix and match. Oh. Oh, you know what? I actually have the perfect thing for you to do, right? Is bring Quantron with you. And, there you go. And then, <laughs> and then by the end by the of the time trip, you get there. By the time you get there. Well, by the time you, you by the time you get home. I should have it all transformed <laughs> back into its boxes. Yeah. Great idea, guys. So. Rah. Um. Yeah, so so Randall says that he's mad that he uh, that he has to get this three pack for one figure, and I agree. Uh, I this agree. Impactor figure is so I... amazing, but the Whoa. fact that I have to buy these two garbage figures. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. What? Um, no, no, I, I 
I, I will say just in general, like, you know, not to get ahead of ourselves here, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think that everyone knows what the weakest one out of this mold is, or, or I'm sorry, out of this three pack is. And yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Anna, sh- Anna's showing up for any of our audio listeners. She's showing up the c- clear mirage. Yes. And for all listeners, Anna's putting on a facade. She loves that figure more than she loves life itself. No, my favorite thing is, is that, that Anna, you've been talking about because you have your one per character rule, right? And so yep. somehow this figure is the one that is like taking up your barrage slot. It is. Isn't it great? It's just a blue thing. So good. Oh All right. First first. Aragon. Aragon, guys. Aragon. Adaptive vehicle Tom. mode. Aragorn comes into pieces. Yay. Oh, I was going to I made a big one that looks like a G1 mode. Done. With the, uh, with Cog. Too. Yeah, I didn't actually compare them. I just said, ugh, Cog's the weakest one. Aragorn's the weakest one. I'm done. No, this is a cool mold. I actually like it. It's fine. I just think it's the weakest of the... Of the three, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Yeah. Just the other ones are better. This one's fine. The head is equally as good as the others. The color breakup on the robot mode chest is not very good. It's like no. a solid chunk of red. And so because right. they did some really good paint work, they even painted the bottom of his feet. <clears throat> like, what's up with that? That's true. And, uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's just um, chunky red in the middle, which is you know, a look, I guess. It's Actually, a look. I don't think that... Oh, well, I guess they painted the bottom black. But they did the same thing with uh, Cog as well. Oh, did they? I think so, didn't they? No idea. Haven't looked at them in forever. It's too dark, can't see it. Yeah, no, they, they painted the bottom of Cog's feet too, which is I think is weird. But maybe they just did it because it's also, you know, guns. The and end of the vehicle. Too, I, guess. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> and now he's normal. No more crab yes. mode. Again, G1 power dasher mode. So yeah, the paint's good on him. It's just that, you know, they kept true to the original and kept the chest very just red. There isn't much going on. That makes him look kind of boring. But like the legs are well painted. And the head looks good. And well, it's the funny arms because kind of the... help with a bit of two-tone red. It, you know, it's a little bit better than if it was all just the same red, but it, it needs a little, a little bit more breakup. A teeny bit of second tone, just like in the middle, but it's not much. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, guy. like, it has all this wonderful detail, like, on the side of his chest. But oh, then yeah. you can't, when you're looking right. at it, yeah, I was going to say, in vehicle mode, it looks great. But, you know, like, just straight on, it's, like, a little bit boring. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'd say he's the weakest of the Power Dashers, but he's still good. Still good. Yeah. And we have all three Power Dashers now. We do, really which quick. is neat. Like, and, we reviewed, well. Uh, Zetar a month ago. Yeah, wasn't too bad. That's, that's one, quick. One thing I will say about the red, though, is is I think that the color of his weapons actually go better with a lot of the other figures. So, like, that that red or whatever, especially, like, Ironhide and, like, whoever you want to put it with, I actually think that it color matches better. Like, I and it looks more fairly consistent. close to Grand Max, too. <clears throat> oh, there you go. If you wanted to have that's good. Grand Max's version of COG. Yeah. I don't know. I I did not think that I would enjoy these Weapon Masters as much as I have. And so, you know, normally you're all like parts formers. Like, I don't want that. But these have been fun, you know, a a fun idea. Yeah. And as I said with previous reviews, when I first got the first set, I didn't really play with them enough. Like I just kind of said, oh, transform ones, put on shelf, this is cool, whatever. And then these ones, I've just been like, like I've beat the heck out of this guy trying to find a good mode that I like for his vehicle. Um, it's this. Yeah, that works a lot better than what I've come up with so far. But that crab thing I had earlier is perfect. So that's his, that's his real alt mode now. Um, maybe that's his bot mode. I don't know. Um, that's a mode, though. But, like, it's just so fun to mess with them. And I haven't even started to mix all three of them yet. And that's going to happen. That's going to be a monstrosity. It's going to yep. make it heads out of feet. It's going to be great. 
Or if you want to call him something else, I don't. I've been calling him Big Power Dasher just because I can. That well, no, that should have been that should have been a contest at TFCon this year. Make Big Power Dasher. We're we're you looking forward to make vehicle mode. We'll we'll see how it goes. I'll make I'll make the perfect one. No one can defeat me. Because mine will be a monster. Other people will try to make it look like something. Mine will be body horror. <sighs> That's the only reaction I can have to that. I understand. It's okay. Just heavy sigh. Not everyone can appreciate my artistic genius. Yeah. (laughs) So, next, do we do the Mirage Mirage? Yeah, I think we should save the best for last, so. I think so, too. So, Mirage. I've got mine in vehicle mode as well. Yeah, so finally, we haven't actually talked about regular Mirage yet, so this is our first time talking about Mirage, talking about the Goofy Claire version. It's a good mold. It's a good mold. So, (laughs) I was was showing off on the other one, but I mean, it does, like, you know, it it is clear, there's some detailing on here. It does have some writing on, um, let's see if we can see the writing. I don't know if the camera will pick up the writing or not. Why yeah, it does have writing on the phone. Uh, probably will. Uh, it says uh, visages on the side, which is awesome. Yeah. It cuts this club for more than meets the eye. And the other side says CBC something X20. I think it's probably just a product code. So is there a um, is there an Autobot symbol on him anywhere? I found it. I could not find one, which I thought was a little bit strange that there wasn't an, a symbol on there anywhere. But. He's finally, he's finally trying to mirage. On the actual... Um, oh, yeah, probably, there is. Yep, I where? found it. It's above the 26 on his chest. Uh, oh, God, I can barely see that. You're right. Yeah, so there's a little 26 on here on the, on the, the robot mode chest, but... Oh, yeah, I can see it's it. Probably now. not helpful at all. No, 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 no. You have to it's see there. it in person. It, I assure you, it's there. Um, but uh, the mold itself is really like I actually enjoy the mold um, a good. lot more than what I thought I would. Um, yeah. What What do you guys think about the the fact that the faux chest is like in the back? Does it bother you? And and probably doesn't bother as much just because it's on this clear. But like if you not a bit. Uh, I don't have my Mirage, my regular Mirage in um, in robot or whatever vehicle I've, mode. I've seen pics. I don't mind it. I don't, yeah, I don't mind it either. I I think I'm I'm glad they did it that way, be, like to make it look better. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, no so. big deal for me. Yep. No big deal for me either. So, so um, he's clear blue. It's fun to a lot of people though. He's. Weird. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this one with my normal Mirage, so like he is phasing in or phasing out, and uh, that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why Hasbro thinks that blue is the clear color that Mirage is because I think he's just clear or vaguely orange. But they did this in Bacon 07, and they're doing it again now. It's fine. The toy head is fine. I hope they use it again for like a red Ligier or. Crasher or something. See, I would rather, if I'm going to have one version of this mold, which is my rule, I would rather have the regular Mirage head instead of the toy head. Well, hopefully you'll get to choose between those and Slapdash and Leadfoot and Sure Shot. And, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, hopefully we get a bunch of repaints. I'm sure I'll have it's no a good problem. Mold. Sure, I have no problem finding a buyer for this thing. <laughs> yeah. People will be lighted up. Yeah, there there was a guy in one of the groups I saw today that was selling off uh, the Blue Mirage and Aragon because I guess he just uh, wanted uh, Impactors. Oh, no, he, wa- he just wanted Aragon, so he was selling off Impactor and he was selling off um, Mirage. And, like, the Impactor went like that. And the Mirage is still for sale, so... The Mirage will be for sale for years. Right. 
so yeah, he's easy to transform. He poses well. Um, I think he's a really good figure. It's a really good mold. Mm-hmm. He's got good ankle tilts again, good posability. The legs in photos um, looked like they were really thin near the bottom. And like they were going to look really weird. And I don't feel like on either version that you actually get that in person. Like his legs feel appropriately thick. They're, yeah, they're, they're not good they're in the back, but... <laughs> So yeah, fine. the wheels there is you know not great, but probably the only place they could have put it that kind of made him look like G1. So I'm okay with that compromise. Yeah, the weighting works. He stands just fine, so it's okay with me. Only if yeah. it threw out the weight would I be mad. Yeah, and it, it doesn't. I mean, he's got nice long heel spurs so that he can stand, and they have ankle tilts on him, which I know is your favorite thing. And he can give him wings. He, he doesn't fly really away. Work. He does okay. have wings so he can fly away. They're perfect. The only thing missing on him is, um, as far as possibility, is wrist swivel. And wrist swivel's been very um, very often on in Siege. Some figures yeah. have it, some figures don't. Nothing in this box set has wrist swivel. Well, in the upcoming oh, yeah. uh, in the upcoming line, too, I think that... Um, uh, who is it? The, um, is it Grapple? I think doesn't have wrist swivel either. Like, there's a few... So. Yeah, so it's just kind of like with the transformation that they've really been going towards that flip out fist transformation, and if they've got yeah. that, then it's not going to have wrist swivel. Which I mean, it could. wrist swivel does help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, if you're gonna right, I was gonna say if you're gonna have one, I'd rather have ankle tip, and I also really impress. Uh, appreciate the the waist swivel that they have with most of the figures too i think that adds a yeah, lot it's too. nice too so yeah he's easy to pose and easy to transform and the head does i think the head looks good personally i have trouble seeing details on something that's just one clear plastic color but i'm yeah, pretty it's sure it's a good head sculpt it's not yeah. the same as the retail figure so that's fun well, that's why I was saying I would like to see it used on something else, like a red BGA or a Crasher or something, because right. I'd like to be able to pick out those details. It. it looks good from <laughs> what I can see, but yeah, it, it gets lost in a uniform clear color. It is. So, I think it's kind of fun. They put in those like little details, like the decals and stuff. Yeah. To try to break it up a little bit, even though it is just clear blue. Well, I I was going to say, I really, I appreciate that they put a new head on there too. And that it's like the, you know, the toy head. Like, I think that that, that, you know, it seems like even though they're just doing essentially a repaint or whatever for it, that they actually did put some thought and and effort into it. So I, I like the figure more than I thought I was. Like, I thought I was going to just be like, oh, this is, you know, trash or whatever. And I actually kind of like it. I'm the same way. I actually thought that this would be a huge disappointment, but it's it's still a disappointment, but it's not a huge one. It would be better if it wasn't clear. That's all it is. Like, it's ha- not like it's bad. Yeah. Do you have any concerns about the clear plastic uh, getting brittle over time, or you think it'll be okay? No, my 07 one is totally fine. Yeah, no experiences with it with me. Seems fine. Plus, it looks like all of the the important joints are made of the opaque plastic instead. That the only thing I'm a little concerned about is is the tabs. Like some of the tabs that you have in vehicle mode, like are a little bit tight. Um, but I think as long as you're yeah, careful when maybe. you're transforming it, you'll be fine. Be careful in ten years when you transform it again. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've already transformed mine four or five times. Maybe you'll transform it a lot, especially if you don't own the other version. Right, but I kind of feel like it's, I mean, I don't know about you, but it's like, how often are you transforming your Combiner Wars figures? Never. Right. Never. So that, that's what I'm saying is, is it's like, you might do it now, but a year from now. Right. They're probably I have a bunch of Siege shelf. on my desk right now. It's all Siege and one fan's project figure, so... These are the ones that I actually mess with. Um, so for the Mirage, like, I mean, I, w- I would definitely say that if you're only going to get one version of this mold, uh, that go with the regular Mirage if you can. Obviously, this is a three-pack, so it's, you know, 
I don't know what the heck you're going to do with the uh, with the clear version, because, uh, again, like there's not a huge demand for it. But, um, you know. I think he's going to be the one that's hard to rehome out of the three. Like, if you didn't want the Impactor, I think you could sell him easy. If you didn't want the Aragon, you could probably sell him easy. But if you don't want the Mirage, you're probably going to have a Mirage. Well, the thing that's hard, too, is, is like, if, you know, the the packaging, and, and honestly, I should have brought the packaging down to show off. I don't know if you oh, have the so box. Good. It's The packaging is really good for the thing. But um, since it's a three-pack... Like, there's no real way to, like, you know, leave it as that particular one is sealed and then, like, donate it. Because, like, that's probably another good idea that if you don't like it, you can just donate it to Toys for Tots or something. But since it's loose, you can't really do that. Um, but you can always give it to a kid for Chris, you know, like, <laughs> give it to some kid or whatever that you know. So <laughs> That's true. You could. But, uh, but yeah. So I do like uh, your idea, Christian, about mixing and matching uh, the guys. I saw, I think somebody did it online uh, that I saw, and I actually wouldn't mind trying that out. You can't pull it off of the joints, though, because they're all pins. Uh, uh, which is going to be weird. So I think what I'm going to have to do is separate it below the joint, where it's the mushroom pegs here. Yeah. I, yep. would, I was just looking at that. Yeah, that's probably what you, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Is do it at the mushroom pegs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that'll be a more fun way to have them mixed up. I think. I and mean, you can't pull the pull the shoulder, but I can pull the arm. So. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to get Scary the mirage. main body out. But <laughs> yeah, especially with the clear plastic, but. Or so. mirage. I did it. It's, it's fine. You're fine. Now we've popped it apart to customize. So. To make it better. So, uh, are we done? Are we done talking about Mirage? I think it? so. He also has guns, but we didn't really talk about them. They're oh, there. He's They're there. Guns. They're fine. The guns are cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I I was showing off the two guns. Like, it has like a little shoulder missile gun thing. Like, that's really neat. And yeah, he has his know. rifle and his missile launcher, which is uh, really cool because in Siege it seems like. They're going with one weapon or the other. Mm -hmm. like Red Alert had the rifle and Sideswipe had the, the shoulder launcher. But Mirage has all of his weapons, which is great. Yeah. It's fun. All right. Now, now right, time for Pat. save the best for last, in my opinion, at least. Might as Can well. I start on this? Yeah. What's that? Okay. I thought that this figure was going to suck. I was getting the three pack for Mirage and for Argon because I wanted all the power dashers. And I was like, Impactor looks horrible. He looks all hollow. I've got Spartan. Um, he looks light and small and bleh. And I'm going to hate this figure. I really like this figure. I was totally wrong. He, I guess he looks hollow, but I don't know what they've done here. I don't know if it's the type of plastic or what. But he's very bulky, and he's taller than he should be. I mean, you saw Mirage. He's much taller than Mirage. I mean, he's a tall, tall dude. He's beefy. So it, there, there's like a million third-party companies selling add-on kits for the leg fillers. So I think if that is something that bothers you, that you're definitely going to be able to get a solution to that. Um, so, but I... Honestly, like, I think that this it's may... Not, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad anyway. Um, Maybe and, we're just conditioned, but, you know, in, in the pictures, I guess from the angle they had it, like, they were taking yeah. pictures of it like this or whatever, and it was like, oh, wow, that's all honeycomb. And, you know, when you look at him like a normal person would look at him, it's fine. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't really show up at all. And I really, I really hate hollow this on figures too. And I wouldn't even consider buying an upgrade kit for this because it looks fine as is. So, um, and and the one thing that's cool is is that because of the transformation, like he does have like ab crunch that you can oh, yeah. pull off, um, which I think is cool. Like, I mean, just the 
articulation in general, you know, I mean, he's got his waist swivel, um, you know, um, I guess he doesn't have, um, his, the wrist swivel like you want, but the one thing that I think is awesome about it is, is that the gimmick that they have for the hook hand. So you can have a, uh, a regular hand or you can switch it harpoon around. Hand. And then he has the, uh, harpoon hand, which is Dang. just, it's God, it's so much fun. And I think you can, can shove also... other things in there too. So you can give them a clear missile hand. <laughs> that looks good, actually. You can give them all sorts of things. It's fun. I can't wait to actually, like, I bet you could probably stick like, the axe in there. Give them an axe arm. That would be fun. Put pieces of the power, power dashers in there. Yeah, I th- well, you could even put, like, a big combiner hand in there, right? Yeah, uh, right. Or a combiner. Magic of five millimeter pegs. Here, you have a stupid cat sword hand. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You look yeah. great now. Yeah, there you go. I can rock at the cat nice. sword. You could do Hulk hands. So. Yeah, so... Um, I, I love that. Um, I mean, this is just so much fun to mess with. Um, I mean, he's got his, his, uh, ankle tilts and, um, I I will say, you know, so obviously everyone is uh, comparing this to the MMC, uh, Spartan, right? I, I actually think that the vehicle mode is better. Um, but I, I just wasn't a fan of the um the tank or whatever for the mmc figure i know it was supposed to what was it supposed to reference i can't remember the it's closer to the last end the records model or whenever you actually transform in the records book i think it was last end yeah. this one kind of looks like the marvel one which never really looked like anything so it looks good as a tank yeah, like, that's the thing to hear. Like, I think that as far as Siege-style alt modes that are supposed to be Cybertronian, and it's funny because none of us have him in tank mode, um, I think that his is, like, the most Cybertronian Siege-style alt mode. Like, I think it does it the best. Like, it is a boxy tank thing that doesn't look like any Earth tank, but it looks like a tank. Like, it, it evokes tank just fine. Just like, you know, a lot of Cybertronian spaceships across the lines have. Not Soundwave. So, one thing that I'll say is, is that, uh, n- number one, if you're going to get this three-pack, in my opinion, do not get the regular figure. Uh, there just there aren't enough differences between the two. And I personally do not like the head on the... Um, on the retail figure. So this is the head on the retail one here. And then this, this is the head on, uh, the much Amazon better one. I mean, now again, like I, I could see where if you like the Marvel version instead of the IDW version that you might prefer the, the retail head, but like, I, I just don't like the no. expression on the retail one. Um, no, it looks weird. But I I feel like that this is – the retail version is, like, the ugly, like, younger brother of, you know, the good impactor. Um, So I agree. Yeah. So the the one thing I think is funny is – so um, about this this figure is is that the only drawback is is that somehow he has a Decepticon symbol on on his chest, right? Because that we had – to get a Decepticon, like I don't know, that's how they did the fan vote, right? Yeah. yeah. Impactor versus Mirage it was like, wait a minute, both those dudes are Autobots, right? So they slap a Decepticon symbol, even though like in any of the fiction, he's not a Decepticon, right? And so it is bugging the heck out of several people online because it has a Decepticon. So it's like it's the perfect figure, except for you know this. You know, this one thing, so. 
uh, remove it with isopropyl alcohol if you want, or you know, the Decepticon symbols are purple, and Impactor is purple. I can ignore it. Yeah, it honestly barely shows up. It's small. It's, it's on a bend in his yeah, chest. It, it being on the curved surface is making yeah. it really easy. It's, it's it, very easy to ignore. It is really easy to ignore, and the rest of the figure's good. And to be honest, like, for me, a lot of my collection is third party, and I don't usually put faction symbols on my third party figures. Most of my figures don't even have faction symbols. I know where they go. I know who they are. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe they'll expand upon this whole thing in the TV show, the Netflix show that's coming out in the spring. Yeah. You know, Impactor's a Decepticon, but the Autobots lure him in to lead the Wreckers because he's in, he is the only one who knows how to beat the cons because he was a con or something like that. Yeah, because that's the description on the um, on the box or the instructions or whatever. It's like Mirage is going to recruit the mercenary Impactor. He has to but sneak the, up on him. It's sort of visible. So- the funny thing is, is so in the card game, Impactor is not a mercenary. So they have a new faction on on the card game, which is mercenaries. And so they did, um, like, um, who is it? Like, I think Drift is one, or is it Deadlock? I can't remember which one. Deadlock um, and Deadlock Black, right now. Lockdown. Lockdown is one, or whatever. And so, but then somehow this guy that they threw a Decepticon symbol on is not a mercenary. It makes no sense. No. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Does it say that? I, seconds? I didn't catch that. Yeah, I think it, it might be on the back of the box. I can't remember which place it was. Both but it said that you had cycle. to recruit him. Cool. Yeah, I threw mine away too. Yeah, same the box, here. Please. Just, the, the box falls apart after you open it because of the way it's built. That particular it's built box. It's a cool way, though. It's all right. Yeah. It's built to fall apart, which is interesting. But we've we've also been so used to just getting this like generic brown boxes from Hasbro, like right? selects, you know. <laughs> so it's actually cool to get a you know legit box. We're like, oh, it came in a plastic sack instead of a box. That's innovation. It it's nice. Like it it looks nice. It's fine. It's fine. The box is fine. It just. The way it came apart annoyed me, so I threw it away. I keep most of my boxes, but I just tossed that one. Which might cost me. It might make it harder to sell clear trophy dummy mirage. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> I don't think so either. So um yeah, so as we said, Impactor has all the different um posability we want on his paint is really good and really detailed. Like the amount of paint on his chest is just, you know, most figures don't get that much. So it's nice. Um his head's well painted. The head is super good. Like it's just I didn't expect him. I don't have attachment to Impactor as a character, which is fine. Um but And a read last stand. No, well, she did. She didn't. You read last stand, and you. Like, I read like three an issue and a half, but I got bored. How? How do you get bored? <laughs> I probably had to do something like a grade. <laughs> also, you need to read Target 2006. Well, my thought oh, was yeah, since we got this giant that. road trip, we just braid a pile of comic books yes. and leave them laid there, and that way we we'll get bored. If you can read, read in a comic car, books. I can't. I can read in cars, yes. Good. I will. That's a good talent to have. <laughs> I will probably. I'm pretty a lot of grading, but I'll probably also free and reading, like fun reading. Ooh. So, um, oh, I guess I'll show it for you, Christian, since you can't actually see this. Um, I got him in his tank mode, so. It's a good tank. Ooh, tank mode. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually nice. So the tank actually swivels 360. Now, if you swivel it, you know, then you're seeing <laughs> legs here. Um, yeah. Yeah, Anna, you can just complete the entire IDW run in the car. If you want, I can bring, like, I've got the, do you want trade paperbacks or hardbacks for the IDW run? Well, the tra- I couldn't touch your, pa- your hardbacks. Those are too valuable. I might damage them. Bring the trade paperbacks. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway. I read aggressively. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> if something bad happens, she's rip out the page and throw it out the window, right? <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding, please, please kidding. don't. All right. Well, I guess I will be bringing my my comments. Oh. So, but yeah. So as I said, I think this tank is better looking than the MFC one. For I mean, obviously I it's, cool. it's a retail it's a retail figure, you know, whatever, yada yada. But um, and we're gonna see it again. It's totally gonna be select Cybertron defense scattershot. It's going to be friends with Hotshot. It's going to be amazing. Glad you're excited for that. I'm I've got my one version of the old school. Yeah, I think I'm actually, because I've been wanting to get Spartan for a long time, just because, again, I don't have attachment to Impactor, but he looks like a cool toy. Like, he looks really fun. But I think I can skip him now, because I think this is like close enough that I'm good. If you can't skip him, I think I might sell mine now that I have this one. Oh, huh. Interesting. Interesting. I, I really I never thought that would happen. I was like, oh, Spartan's the best. You know, whatever. I wasn't even going to get this figure. I was like, oh, it's in that three-pack. I've got to get to get Argon. I'm, so I'm really I'm, curious, once you get this guy, what you're going to think of him compared to uh, the Roadbuster. This is the MMC one. Um, I mean, he is a freaking Compared awesome. to my Generations one? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's no comparison. Yeah, there there is no comparison like with this one. This is like a really fun. The MMC one is is really fun too. My only complaint on this MMC one is uh, it doesn't come come with enough weapons for me. I would love I would have loved it if they would have given more. But I like anyway. my fans project one anyway. <laughs> oh, the fans project one was really cool too. So I, I think it's funny. It's tidy, how, skinny, fun to play with. I think it's funny how some of these like obscure or relatively obscure characters. Now I know that Roadbuster was in the comics, but like, you know, in the original G1, he wasn't in there and all that. It's like somehow they get these like really nice toys and whatnot. And then we have other ones that are like more main characters and, you know, like, like Cliff Jumper. Yeah. He might finally be getting a good toy all this time. He's got a poop toy after poop toy. Uh, I would say the classics version actually is a good toy. It's not it's a good cliff toy. jumper. That's so true. That's, that's true. Bumblebee. I don't even count it because it's just a red bumblebee. Yeah, it's red. the best of the red bumblebee though. Yeah, it is. It is. That that is a also good like toy. the You're right. one that they made from the prime mold with the uh, new head. I really yeah, like I have that. that. It's actually really like it's good. It's just not not the cliff jumper I want in my life. But sure. I think he's coming, so it's good. It was popular at the time, so I called it Cloud Cliff Jumper because that Cloud uh, Brawn came out at the same time from Prime Bulkhead. So maybe I just I'll kinda... trade him. Maybe I'll trade him out um, with my Ace Cliff Jumper. I'll get rid of that finally. <laughs> oh my God! How do you still have that? Oh. I kind of like it. The waiting's bad, but everything else is fine. I like the way it looks. I don't know, but I don't like to touch it. At the same time with Cliff Jumper is, is like the other third party versions that we've gotten, like haven't been that great either. Like, I mean, I, I like the MMC one. Okay. But it's just so delicate and, and whatever that yeah. I, I don't, I don't like that. Um, Agreed. and then the backpack on the extreme spots version is just crazy. So anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, so this Impactor, like, if you want an IDW Impactor, like, I think it's worth it just to get him. And then if you're collecting the other uh, the other stuff. So I think you, sh you should be able to sell off, uh, you know, like we said, Aragon pretty easily. Um, it's just that blue Mirage that, you know. And it's not terrible as a novelty. If you're not going to buy the fun. other version in the mold, it's fine. Like, say you're one of those people who swears by Classics Mirage there's a lot of them out there, then get this one for funsies. That way you have a clear phantom mirage to go poo and go see attack. Hey, I don't Halloween. know. He, I could tried. Be, he could be a phantom right now. Yeah, he could yeah. be the ghost of Halloween. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, so I would say, well, do we want to do the recommend, not recommend for the pack to finish up? Yeah. Yeah. Recommend. I think. 
I can get it, but I could see why one would have reservations about it. I feel the same way. I feel like two of the figures are the worst version of the mold, Aragon and Mirage, and one of the figures is the best version of the mold, and that's in Factor. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, the Power Dashers are cool. I'm glad to have those. Um, I would recommend it um, just because, I mean, I'm excited just to get new molds um, because we've gotten so many repaints lately that I've like, gotten kind of bored with it. Um, so it was fun to actually see nice packaging, nice mold, like, you know, whatever. Um, so I, I definitely think that the Mirage mold and uh, the Impactor mold are like two of the nicer molds of siege i mean they're just really n nice figures they're good um and i think like going on I, I know anna you had brought this up before that like all the deluxes it's like you'll just get every deluxe and the, the voyagers are kind of not great um which is is kind of true a little bit um it's pretty much how i've always collected transformer style i don't know there's Since a lot of the good line voyager. research there's for classics a lot of good voyagers out there in general but i think that there are a lot of good deluxes in this um in the yeah, season so anyway and this is one of them and this is definitely the better version by like four thousand percent so now you have to buy a stupid three pack for them sorry to break the news to you yeah i really didn't think i was gonna like this toy and i really like him a bunch I feel i'm actually the same and when i looked at it in pictures i was like eh, that just looks like a crappy version Yep. Of that one guy that I don't know. And then I got him. I like him. He's cool. <laughs> yep, I had three other impactors. I didn't think there's a reason for me to get this one because it looked worse. It is much better than any of the three that I have already. Well, I mean, I'm excited that we've pretty much gotten, you know, almost all the wreckers, uh, a good chunk of them. Rack um, and ruin. Rack and ruin. Got to get them. For them however you prefer to say it yeah you know and the funny thing is is i would have told you like you know a few a couple years ago it was like there's no way we're gonna get that and now it's like i could see it they there was a quick cameo in cyberverse yep was it really yeah rack and ruin was in a show yes what yes they're in they're in cyberverse for just a second at least i think they might be in more in season two but i haven't watched season two yet I, I would love if if somehow that Rack and Ruin is like the, the build a figure for like the next wave of Cyberverse and Christian has to buy like two waves of, of Cyberverse figures just to get them. No. <laughs> yeah, it's suck. I'd do it too. <laughs> Might as well build them out of hammers laying around your kitchen at that point. So yeah, Ra Randall, Randall says there's more than a, more than a cameo in uh Cyberverse. Have you caught up? Have you watched all of Cyberverse, Anna? No, I haven't. That's why I said it was a cameo in the, like, one episode. Maybe this he is, shows up later. They shows up. what we need to do is download all of Cyberverse and, like, watch that on the car ride. That would be fun, because I actually like Cyberverse. That'll be, like, oh, our no. first two hours of the trip, and then after that... I'll... Right? <laughs> so. All right. Um, all right. Well, uh, I think we're going to have, uh, ouch my wallet tomorrow night. I think that's what Rob said. So, uh, we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, there I'm will be a be new version. That. What's that? I'm supposed to be on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't be there. Have fun. So, but, uh, but yeah. And then, uh, Rick's going to have another episode of cut the tape. So we got that, uh, going and then, uh, I don't know what we're doing for uh, TFCon yet, but we're going to try and see if we we're, – we're definitely going to have a, a TFCon show. Depending on the internet and whatnot, like, we don't know if it'll be live or not, but we'll see. So, anyway. Um, it'll be amazing. I, yep, should be fun. Yep, and check out the TF Talk page, too, because we'll be posting lots of updates from the show. Uh, so, you know, as far as the third party figures and all that stuff too. So. All, all right. right. Well, I guess that's it. Night, night. Um, so have a good night, everyone. And we'll see you next week.